Greetings. Uh, welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow. The end of the year. We're already there. I mean, it's the last stretch. We've got, what, three more days to go and say goodbye to 2020. So welcome to this time of Heal Talk Tuesdays. Hi, Zari John. How are you? Well, you know what? I've been hinting. I have a special guest today, Christelle. I call her Chris. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is the segment for Real Talk. Hi, Lisa. I'm very glad to join you. Thank you for having me. I'm also very excited. Lots have happened this year and uh, like everybody else, looking so forward to 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Things have just got to get better, right? Well, you know what? It's a perception. It truly is a perception. What True. is it that we want in life and how we move forward? How do we look? I mean, there's a lot of people who thought this year is awful. And there are a lot of people who thought this was probably the best year because of transformations. How was it for you? Actually, I have to say it's it's been a little bit of both. But I am here at three days before the end of the year, really, really grateful for the amazing transformations. And just there have been some really wonderful things that have happened this year, I have to admit. Yeah. Yes, that is I true. Agree. You know, I just jumped off from another uh, networking event. And uh, I usually say to heal within, we are only one thought away from making that change. So it's, I, yep. I think a lot of things in our life is a decision. Yeah, so true, so true. And the way, we, the way we talk to ourselves, the way we talk to each other, the words we choose. I mean, I learned that from you. That was like the biggest lesson. And it's a constant lesson. You're always constantly reminding me, you know, is it true? Are the things you're saying true? <laughs> <laughs> Are your feet really killing you? I mean, your feet are just there at the end of your legs. Are they really killing you? <laughs> <laughs> well, for those of you who do not know me or Christine, um, and thank you for joining. My name is Lisa Bubari by trade. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, speaker, author, as a matter of fact, best-selling author, thanks to One Habit, Forbes Riley, and Steve Samless. Uh, you know what? I truly came to make this year the best of the years through this COVID, through these challenges, because I got to step up for myself. So when I help my clients and you realize that you do matter, and it's only about you standing up for yourself, that I can truly introduce my guest. Christelle uh, Goda. And Christelle and I have known each other for what? Over a decade now, at yeah. least. And as an executive director for the LA Cancer Network, I would like you to take a few moments and introduce yourself to who you are, where you are in life today. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, yes, we met 10 years ago um, with one of the many activities that I involve myself with, and that is uh, through our um, association with the LA Cancer Network. And then later on, we got closer when we discovered we were both in Seroptimist. Actually, you were the one who invited me to, to be a Seroptimist. Yes, um, yes because uh, charity work is, and uh, giving back is a very important part of my life. And, and so I thank you for introducing me to a great group like Seroptimist. Uh, and then, of course, through that, I discovered your 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 mission, which is uh, to be a hypnotherapist and helping people and, uh, you know, our work together with, you know, helping people through uh, uh, just helping them with mental health issues and all kinds of different things. And then, of course, we got closer as I, you know, very, very uh, happily made you a part of my own um strides in mental health 
uh, a, a period in my life where I struggled with, uh, you know, the, the decline of health of my mom. Um, and then through her, her death and, and, uh, you know, working through that and, and just um, being a hypnotherapy client of yours. And I'm very thankful for having discovered hypnotherapy through you. It's been a tremendous, tremendous help in my life. And I have to admit, I'm from the generation of people that uh, mental health or seeking mental help, um, counseling, all that still had a very kind of a stigma to it. So I come from that kind of world and that generation. But when I discovered hypnotherapy and it helped me with so much that I was going through and I was working through, I, I think I, I, I became its, its biggest you know, testimonial and everywhere I would go. As you are being today people. and I was not I am, even expecting I am. this. No, no, I am. And I absolutely, you know, if, if, if there's any big blessing in my life, it's been the discovery of how I can, you know, improve myself and evolve through, uh, you know, um, really opening up and, and seeking help and the, and the many amazing hypnotherapy techniques that you have taught me through the years. You know, one of the things that I always tell people is when you learn to relax, because mm -hmm. I come from that generation. I'm a baby boomer. I come from a generation where relaxing was, the, was almost kind of a bad thing. You know, you don't <laughs> tell people to relax. You know, you, you have tell people to work hard and be busy. And to just learn how to be relaxed. I, I didn't know that you had to be taught to relax because I didn't know how to do it. I didn't. And once, once you took me down into that, that deep relaxation and I could, I could, live in the moment in that one breath and that one second it really just put me on a much better footing mentally and emotionally and right because so many people are afraid of silence yes i was i you know the first time it, it, i you told me to just hold space i didn't know what that meant hold yeah. space what in the world is that so all of these concepts that i think you know we are not taught in school we are not taught really anywhere, and we kind of have to kind of fend for ourselves, right? When we when we enter the workforce or enter parenthood, you know, all of these things that we're not taught to do uh, to heal. And yes, our we are, Chris. We are taught. I mean, not we in so many are, and what we are not realizing is prayer is a time of silence. Yeah. Of introspection yeah yeah and or if you're like me means... yeah or if you're like me um uh prayer and and religion kind of um was weaponized on me mm. by my parents so yeah i had to evolve i had to relearn that prayer is uh you know something i could do for myself to help myself before prayer was always tied with contrition Correct. being sorry for something I did wrong, you know, that, that was kind of the way my parents, my mom had weaponized religion against me, but you know, that's like the, it's a, that's a, a whole nother heel it's, talk, right? It's a whole <laughs> gamut of its own. Not everybody prays, but right. doing nothing is doing something. Yes. Oh, that's a great lesson. I love that lesson that doing nothing is doing something. Yeah. I never thought of that before and, and, and was never comfortable with just sitting around doing nothing. I'm like, oh, I feel guilty. I'm sitting around doing nothing. But now uh, from what you've taught me in hypnotherapy, I can hold space. I mm. can, when something seems like it's nothing, I'm really doing something very important for myself. So I'm, uh, I'm very thankful, very grateful that you've taught me that. Thank you. So that's not an introduction of who Chris is. Oh, no, no, no. You're <laughs> right. You're right. So, uh, yes. Um, let's see, which one of my three jobs should I talk about? So, um, I'm a very busy person, you know, yeah. I, I work in, in the healthcare industry. Actually, I just recently kind of cut that down to two jobs. So, uh, I was, um, uh, a director at LA Cancer Network for many years, I just retired this year. Uh, but I also am the CEO of H Hawaii Cancer Care. Um, mm. and I work part-time in Honolulu. I haven't been to Honolulu during COVID. So this is the, the ultimate work from home test before I was going out there, you know, every four to six weeks. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, uh, we have that practice out in Hawaii. And then we also 
with my husband, I, um, uh, we do a healthcare consulting business. So that still, you know, keeps us very busy. And in addition to that, you know, I do volunteer work. I, I founded um, Cancer Care Network Foundation, and yes. it is a charity that helps to uh, provide financial assistance and advocacy for cancer patients. And it was started back when, uh, I don't know if you remember, but when, when Komen, Susan G. Komen had that little bit of controversy right. where they were um, kind of um, um, pulling all the money that they were getting through charity and instead of giving it towards, uh, you know, the cure, they were kind the of, patient. Uh, yeah, they were doing other things with it. So uh, it came from that, basically. People wanted to give to people with cancer that were that needed the the help now as you know mm. in southern california it's very difficult to get sick because insurance doesn't always cover everything people have very large deductibles large copays and you know when you have cancer obviously your copays are going to be a lot more you when you're healthy and you're only going to the doctor once a year you pay a copay once a year but when you have cancer and you're seeking therapy you're paying a copay every time you see the doctor so that's where we you know, we started raising money and we, we did very well. We're still giving, we're still taking applications. So we're still in the middle of, of uh, running that, that, um, that foundation. Okay. And then. Uh, Chris, do you believe that stress factors, especially nowadays with COVID, the mental health and emotional health has barrier on uh, the increase in cancer or the type of cancer certain women or individuals we uh, get? I, I am a firm believer that it does. You know, I, from okay. um, everything that I have experienced and also that I'm learning as, a, uh, as a, a, a hypnotherapy client, as well as working in healthcare all these years and working in the, in the field of cancer, there is definitely a huge link between our stress, the type of chronic stress that we endure and, and our health. So mm -hmm. there's, you know, the, the connection between the mind, the heart, and the body is, is a very real thing. And it's not just this thing I believe in. It's also been proven. There's a lot of, of uh, um, you know, uh, cases in the medical field and in medical journals that prove that that is true. So, you know, people always ask me, oh, you work in cancer. What's your advice? How do I, uh, you know, uh, prevent myself from getting cancer? And my answer is always manage your stress manage your chronic, if you're undergoing chronic stress or in the middle of chronic stress, manage it, do something about it because, uh, you know, your body will give you clues. And so mm -hmm. I'm a very firm believer in that connection. Right. Um, so yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I know this because I've, I've worked with some of the cancer patients and I, one of the cancer patients that I had for breast cancer who was here and working with her at the time that I was doing the hypno massage, remember that time? Yep. Um, working with her, she was having, because she had already had the surgeries and uh, going through that emotional thing of not having her breasts, have feeling awkward with her body. I remember she was having a hard time uh, with a conversation with her husband and the husband her husband was not intimate with her, was not so close and touching and feeling. And she felt so withdrawn and she had gone into a depression. So as we were working together, she said uh, she was having a hard time as I was massaging. All her emotions came up. And as she was releasing her emotions of feeling uh angry, resentful, and everything. I work with her and asking her, have you communicated with your husband or just take his hand and have him touch you, touch your body? Maybe he feels awkward. Maybe he's afraid to hurt you. He does not know what to do. Believe it or not, the week after, uh, a week and a half later when she came in, she was in tears, hugged me and said, I never knew that my husband feels afraid to touch me because he does not know how I would feel if he were to come close. And their communication was so much better after that. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful story. And it's true, you know, although uh, probably when, you know, 
25, 30 years ago, cancer incidences were high because of the environment, right? There's all, mm. there was so much going on with, with chemicals. radiation and chemicals and, and all that. But, but uh, interestingly enough, even though we have, you know, made our um, a progress towards having precautions against radiation and chemicals, and there's been this big push environmentally to reduce the amount of pollution and chemicals in the air, and we probably have the cleanest air that we've ever had before, right. cancer incidents are still high. You know, mm -hmm. what's, what, what was that? What's going on? So although, yes, we're kind of improving and, and taking care of the planet and, and reducing pollution, there, I think where our, our kind of reluctance to address the emotional part of our lives and how that contributes to um, physical well-being or the lack thereof, I think that is starting to show. And maybe one of the kind of underlying blessings of our pandemic, you know, because there's always, there's the, the, there's the bright side of things, right? So the, probably the, the bright silver side lining. The silver lining in this pandemic is that there's less of a stigma around the need for uh, emotional um, assistance you know, or mental well-being, well -being. and of course, the attention that that a mental health is getting this year. I think it's right. it's it's much much easier. Although I really, unfortunately, am very very um, disappointed that uh, insurance companies and the government isn't really funding, you know, uh, the cost of mental health as easily as they as they fund, you know. Um, medicine and drugs and and uh, other things and surgeries and so forth. Oh, those are not to say that those are not necessary because they are. But I think, um, you know, coverage for mental health is just as necessary and just as needed. And I hope that that's going to change. I know that there are companies out there that are making investments in the mental health of their staff, which is amazing, which is great. And, you know, that's I, awesome. Yeah, I definitely applaud those those companies for doing that. Yeah. Well, if any of the viewers have any questions, if you are here live with us, by all means, drop a comment, an emoji, hashtag, yes. Uh, if you are watching this on a replay, by all means, hashtag replay. You see, one of the things that I have been doing is, by the way, this is my celebration. It truly is a celebration. Yes, it is. It is, because uh, Facebook... I, I have not been keeping count, but Facebook reminded me that I passed a 200 episodes of Heal Talk, Real Talk with Lisa. Congratulations. So Yay. It's been four years. Every single Tuesday, I come live. And, you know, no one pays for this. No one is sponsoring it. I do it with, a, with joy, with heart, because... You know, years ago, I heard something when Oprah said, when you do something with joy and you make a difference in someone's life and make an impact, that is your pay. Um, of course, I'm not an Oprah, but I truly believe throughout the years, I've had connections with people and those who emailed me, who come to me as clients and have made a difference and, and made an impact that has been 100% worth doing this. So I ask you, my audience, all of you watching, what is it that you want? What do you need? Because when I did this, I did a survey, Chris, just a few months ago, and it was more raw talk heal talk so celebrating 200 episodes i'm like toot my horn right amazing, my own horn. amazing. <laughs> no it's great you absolutely should it it's amazing you know i i'm not of uh, i don't go on facebook all that often um <laughs> but when i do and i see your live shows and and heal talk i definitely click on and listen uh, every once in a while i catch you live but um uh, I, yeah, I listen to hundreds of them, you know, <laughs> not 200, but certainly a lot. And yes. you know, they've been wonderful, so helpful. Just the affirmations every time that you talk is, 
is very uplifting. So, uh, and, and, and you give it so freely that is, it's so inspiring to me. It inspires me to do things, you know, like that. I can't do what you do, but it does inspire me to share and be open and um, to kind of spread those affirmations. Like today's affirmation is I seek excellence, right? That's the, that's today's affirmation from Lisa. So yes, I actually wrote it down somewhere. Where did I write it down? I think I wrote it in my phone, but uh, you know, just saying all those things, it, it makes such a big difference in your day and in, in the hour, you know, kind of snaps you out of the, the funk sometimes. And mm. so I'm super grateful for Thank you. you. And I had a client who came in and he's been receiving the daily affirmations. He walked in and said, you know, I never thought that I can be my own boss, even though he is the boss of over a hundred employees. He walks in and says, your affirmation says I am my own boss. And I'm like, well, you are. He says, huh, that was, <laughs> it was good to read it. Yeah. And it's reaffirming. I am my own boss. And right. what does boss stand for? And I said, well, what does boss stand for? He says, being, owning, standing. And, and I said, and what about the, the last S? He says, strong. And I said, being, owning, standing, strong. So you just created an acronym to uplift you. So it's not only me, I only instigate or I plant a seed, just like hypnotherapy is planting yeah. a seed for yeah. the transformation that happens within you. We yeah. don't do anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's so powerful about hypnotherapy. Uh, you know, that you come in or I came in, you know, um, feeling stuck or weak. And then I discovered, you know, just through your prompting and through uh, you know, being able to feel comfortable in relaxation and all the tips and, and techniques that you taught me that, uh, you knew I, I have the power within me to make those transformations. I am my and, own boss. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it, it really, you know, people out there, it really is incredible. Hypnotherapy really, really is incredible. Can I just share one more thing, Lisa? I know you, it's your show, but <laughs> let me just share one more thing. I know. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting to take over your show here. But um, sure. last summer, I had a, a knee problem that I was struggling with that, uh, you know, and, and it went, what first went from my left knee to my right knee. And I struggled through a couple of trips to Disneyland. And oh, gosh, you remember Disneyland? So anyway, back <laughs> when we were going out with it. So I struggled through a couple of trips to Universal Studios with my kids and I said, okay, you know, I'm just going to take my, my Tylenol or my, my uh, Advil and just muscle through it. And of course I'm like, you know what, this can't, I can't do this anymore with the hot and cold compresses every single night. It was just ridiculous. So I said, I, I got to go to Lisa. And of course, you know, before you even touch my knee, you're, you're saying, what, what is it that you, well, you know, the knee represents flexibility. What are you, why are you overextending yourself? Why are you pushing up against your own flexibility? And it like that, a boom, it just, I just realized, you know, I was really trying to do too many things and it was too many steps, too many steps and I was, you know, overextending myself. Mm. And I kid you not people, the, that night, okay, there was a little bit of, of you know, pain still in the knee, but I woke up and, I literally could jump down the stairs because my knee pain was gone, you know, and I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to, to over exaggerate or, you know, create some kind of mystique around hypnotherapy. And I'm really just trying to say that there is such a deep connection between your, your heart, your emotions, your mind and your body mm. that you can really cannot uh, underestimate, uh, um, you know, or, or overestimate that, our that own power. effect. Yeah. And our power to, to really heal ourselves and keep ourselves healthy just, but with just these little things and being open, of course, because I don't think that, uh, I, I mean, maybe, maybe you're so powerful that, you know, even if I was skeptical, you could break through, but you know, I have always been really super open to it. So that's, you know, that's I, the key, yeah. you know, this, this show is turning into what is hypnosis. Uh, so many, 
have a misconception what is hypnosis or hypnotherapy, not realizing that you are tapping within yourself. Yep. And you, it's a permission. Like anything yep. else in life, even when you go make it an appointment to go and see a doctor, you are giving permission for the doctor to examine you. Mm -hmm. Going to the dentist, you are giving permission for the dentist to put his fingers in your mouth and explore and see uh, what is uh, what is wrong if there is a cavity or something. So anything in life that we do, it's a permission. Yep, that's what's so great about it. Yeah. So coming to almost a close. Uh, this is a great uh, dialogue we're having together. We should start a show together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a great idea because <laughs> you're always asking me questions or always asking your guest, guest questions, but nobody ever asks you a question, mm. right? Right. Okay, so let me ask you a question then. Uh, 200, after 200 episodes of, of uh, Heel Talk, with uh, Heel Talk Tuesdays, right? What is the biggest, uh, or what is the what is the number one message after two hundred? What's what's the message that you'd like to give to everyone, all your listeners, your your two hundred episode listeners? <laughs> wow, um, that's a great question. I think or I should say, I believe when you commit to doing something, remember that you are committing to yourself. So it was a commitment that I did. And it was a commitment uh, to you, my audience. And somehow every Tuesday, I had to show up even when I was in Costa Rica, when I was in Mexico, I showed up because it was a promise that I made um, to show up. And I think showing up in life, no matter what it is, once you commit to doing something, either going to work or being a mom or being a wife or being a girlfriend, being a friend, when you say yes, and it's like a self pride, and then an honor system, and no matter what it is, show up, show up to life, show up to what you promise, and show up for yourself. Because when you give 10 times more, 10 folds more, a thousand times more, I got back. And one message, one email of thank you has been worth all that. That's amazing. Thank you that's for that beautiful. question. And, and that, and, and showing up, you know, one day you'll open your eyes and turn around and look and 200, you know, had 200 shows. <laughs> so showing up 200 times, it's, it's, yeah, you're, here you are. It's, it's amazing. Amazing. You're very inspirational. You know, it inspires Thank me because sometimes, you know, especially when things are tough, you kind of, you know, want to withdraw and go in but uh, maybe one thing that you say, you know, the, uh, inspire somebody or affect somebody. So I, I kind of get what you're talking about. I, through this, this, this COVID time, a little bit more of the background that I promised to tell everybody that didn't, is that I, uh, I homeschool my kids. Mm -hmm. I have three boys, uh, I have four boys all together. Yes, you heard that right, four <laughs> boys. And uh, so my, my oldest son, he, he's already uh, married and on his own. So I, I, am, I have the three younger ones that I've been homeschooling for how many years now? Lots of years. <laughs> Lots of years. I can't even count the years. You're not that but old. Yeah, no, I'm not that old. But the kids have, you know, we've got a, a good 12, 13 years of homeschooling under our belt. So when this COVID hit, I got so many calls and emails from frantic mothers, frantic fathers, mm -hmm. you know, about, you know, oh my gosh, I got to talk to you. You're the homeschool mom. What do I do? So of course, the first thing I, I tell people is relax, relax. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, honestly, kids are much better prepared to do the transition from 
you know, uh, COVID from regular school to COVID school to homeschool than parents are. It really is. So, uh, so I had, you know, kind of gone into this mode and I still am honestly, I'm on, I'm on support groups. That, and I answer questions as on uh, Facebook support groups and uh, right. answer personal emails from people. And I, I, so I get, you know, when you, when you say one little thing and, and it changes a perspective or it creates, you know, a safe space for people and, and you get that, that gr- gratitude email. Thank you mm-hmm. so much for what you said, you know, or you said this one line and it just changed everything for me. So you know, I've had a couple of those emails come to me, so I know how that feels. So for you to, to you know, give, um, you just never know, right, what little thing you can share that becomes something transformative for somebody that helps somebody else. So right. you know, congratulations. I applaud your, your accomplishments. I am definitely a testimonial to how good you are <laughs> with well, sharing your- Well, you know what? I've been telling everyone there is an announcement on my celebration for 200. And the announcement is, is it true? <laughs> is it true? Do we is have an true? announcement? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's an announcement. So for all of my viewers, the ones who you are watching right now, I can't see my feed right now. It happens when you go from Zoom to Facebook. I can't see my feed. I even put my phone and I still cannot f- see any feed or any comments. But you know what? I'm going to make the announcement. Drum roll. I am the happiest and excited to announce the partnership of creating a new segment. And this is going to be for women, by women, with women. Chris Goda and I are merging together to start a show. Yay! (laughs) This is amazing. You know, we planted the seed a year ago. And I said, Chris, how about we do something together? It took us a whole year to come up with Let's do this. Yeah, you know, it's it's our, every time we get together, every time we have a talk, we're like, yeah, we should have a show. And it was like, I can't believe a year has gone by. And finally, we're like, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. So yes. I'm super, super excited to do this with you. Honored beyond measure that you would pick me to be, you know, part of the show. But yeah, I'm I'll excited to participate. It. Yeah. So let's tell everybody what is the name of our show and where they can find us. Go ahead, Chris. So it's the original show with Chris and Lisa. And uh, I think we're starting out with a, with a, um, uh, a group on Facebook, right. Uh, that you can join. And when you join, then join? anyone, anyone can join, right. Anybody can join. <laughs> Actually, I, I have to confess. I'm not like a, I'm not, um, uh, really super good on Facebook or social media for that matter. Um, I know I have a Facebook page. Actually, I'm the learning. show is for women. Yes, I'm learning. It's for women, with okay, women, so women, by women. So it's all women who can and girls, <laughs> young young women too, girls. Right. As long as you are a woman, because here's why, because we're going to have candid talk about yeah, women, yeah. about issues coming from where? From Share. women, yeah. And, and it's a safe place so we can kind of talk freely and not, not worry about judgment or, um, you know, men listening in and having <laughs> comments. Men can no, no, we don't welcome that. We can't listen but, you know, in our group. Yeah, yeah. So we can talk about out every week, right? So if you are interested, ladies, gentlemen, if you have a woman in your life, a lady in your life, and you want to gift them, uh, it's going to be powerful. It's going to be candid talk conversations and from relationship, from sexuality, from uh, homeschooling, from cancer, from breast cancer, from hypnosis, from health, from family and friendship and relationship and self-esteem, every gamut of what as women we go through my physically, mentally, emotionally, it's going to be an arena of candid talk. 
So for that, we are having a uh, private group called The Original. And ladies, by all means, you can find us on that private group right here on Facebook and ask uh, for an invitation and we will have, uh, uh, we you, you can send the invite, ask for the invitation to join us and we will go through uh, and accept you into the group. And when is our show gonna be airing, Chris? What did we say it was going to air? I don't know my calendar. Wait, January, right? January 7th. We January will... 7th. Yes. Only, <laughs> what, 10 days from now? Is it only 10 days from now? Oh, gosh. I want to do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, be patient. Hold space. I know. I know. It's just that we have so much to talk about. Right. So January 7th. And uh, we will air January 7th and we will show up every Thursday at 5 p.m. It will be a one hour show maximum. So please join us uh, if there is any questions, if there is anything you would like to know more about it, where to find us, how to do by all means. Uh, all the information will be right here below this video, this show. Also on YouTube, you can always find me, Heal Talk Tuesday, Lisa Bubari on YouTube. And this information of how you can find uh, Chris and I, our show together called The Original with Chris and Lisa. And why Chris and Lisa? Because you're I younger. Chris and Lisa. It was your idea. You're the one who said Chris and Lisa. It's okay. You're younger than me. No, but you're wiser than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It rhymes. I think so. I think it flows. It flows. And I like and it's alphabetical. It is alphabetical. <laughs> That's right. C comes before L. But you know, it's C true. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll we'll talk C about completes. Yeah, all the L things opens. that we do together, whether it's I lead it or Lisa, you know. Yeah. It's one. All up for grabs, all up for conversation. It is. So I thank you for being a part of the ending to such a great year in, in many ways. Thank you for all my viewers for sharing this time. And you know what? There is not a time that I think life is not about a celebration. I want you to celebrate you. I want to celebrate your life because you make the decision of what it is. And to gift you, you can text 818 221 2797 the word pick me and for the first person who texts that pick me to 818 221 2797 you will have one session free complimentary session with me amazing amazing yeah. go for it it's <laughs> so worth it so worth it <laughs> so for all of you being here for all of you who are going to join me, my Heal Talk Tuesdays will remain uh, and join our show together. The original. Thank you, Chris. God bless you and your family. Thank you. And Thank you. God bless you. Love you. You all next year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, Chris. And for all of you, thank you. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. See you next week, next year. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.